What is up, my Broviaries? Welcome back to Playcrastination Population 145 or 6, perhaps? 7, maybe. I don't even remember. Today. Today is rebuilding day. If you didn't watch the last episode of our uh, our Pokemon Vote White Randomized Nuzlocke, I would advise checking it out. It's maybe the most heartbreaking episode of all time. Uh, and if you want, you know, you're like, D -d do a team preview. Who is there to preview? We have two Pokemon left in our entire Nuzlocke. We're down to, I'll give you a team preview anyway. We're down to Underbite, the Grand Bull, holding Silk Scarf with Bite, Lick, Headbutt, and Crunch. And of course, we have our starter comeback, the Braviary, who knows, Wing Attack, Hone Claws, Roost, and Slash, holding that Scope Lens, which probably saved us the Nuzlocke in that fight against Sharon last time. But yeah, last time was uh, an emotional roller coaster. Uh, mostly like a roller coaster that like went off the rails and crashed instantaneously, but uh, we will call it a roller coaster nonetheless. Today, our goal, like I said, is rebuilding. We have to rebuild the team today. So, uh, I know for sure we can get one encounter up here in the, it's like the, up in the desert somewhere. Let's, um, let's try to avoid all battles. Do you want to fight? Deep in the desert, ahead of here, there's a, the, the desert resort, there's some ruins that have become a tourist destination. Okay. Now, I need to avoid these battles at all cost because I'm pretty sure, considering it's a desert, I would assume that most of these people are going to be rocking, rock, not, no pun intended, another Eviolite, we have so many. I would assume that most of these people are going to be rocking rock type Pokemon, which I am not interested in fighting right now. Uh, as we saw last time, rock types are kind of the bane of our existence, and so we really don't have anything well equipped to, to deal with it. Please don't, yes, thank you for not turning around. Thank you for not spotting me. Okay, so we're gonna go and attempt to rebuild the team. I know we can get one, Okay, we're at the Desert Resort. So I know we can get one encounter for sure here in the Desert Resort. There's some ruins a little bit further in that I think we can get an encounter in as well, but I'm not sure. Alright. Hey game. Hey there, Desert Resort. My name is, uh, my name is Josh. You may have, you may have heard of me. Um, we're in like a really tight spot in this Nuzlocke right now, so I need an absolutely amazing Pokemon for our encounter here. I'm gonna close my eyes and let it happen. Are we still in? No, we're not. I'm gonna close my eyes and let it happen. I need you to gift me. Can you do the, can we do the trick here? Can we do the, can we do the trick here where we get like a special spot in the sand? I don't think it works in the sand. I'll, I'll try because honestly, I'm, I'm willing to try anything. We need this shaking grass spot so that we can guarantee ourselves a better Pokemon, but it doesn't seem to be working. So we're gonna go for the old fashioned way. We are in the sand. We'll go ahead and walk around until we get something. I will continue closing my eyes like, um, like a weirdo, and we do hear something. Please. It's definitely a 5th gen Pokemon. It sounded like a water type to me. It's Panpour. It's a water type. <laughs> oh, it's a water type. I suppose you're going to torment me. I don't care. I don't care. We will continue licking. Hopefully we can... We're just throwing balls then. I am not, uh, I'm not gonna deal with your tormenting baloney. So we're gonna throw some balls instead. These guys shouldn't be too hard to catch. He's level 24 and he's just a pan pour. And we do catch him, so... That's a pan pour on the squad, I suppose. At the very least, we can be happy about that. Pan pour is the spray Pokemon. It does not thrive in dry environments. It keeps itself damp by shooting water stored in its head tuft from its tail. Oh, the water is stored in its head tuft, but it shoots it from its tail. I got it. All right, we have ourselves a pan pour. We need to nickname this pan pour. I'm going to call you. Uh, 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 we're gonna call this Pan Poor. We're going to call him Leaky. Leaky the Pan Poor. I love it. Nice. Great. All right. So let us check out Leaky. Let's see how Leaky is. Does he have any great moves? Anything phenomenal? He has Scald, which is pretty good. He has a higher attack and lower special defense. He has Gluttony, which encourages the early use of a held berry. And he's holding a dubious disc? Are you kidding me? Well, I'll tell you what, if this, um... If this, uh, ends up, uh, if this dubious disc ends up bleeding, if we have to get a freaking Porygon, then, uh, or is it... 
Porygon to Porygon 2 is the upgrade, and then Porygon 2 to Porygon Z is the dubious disc. I think that's right. If we can catch a Porygon 2, then Leaky was all worth it. But unfortunately right now, he's like not really underleveled, but pretty underleveled. So we need to give him... Luckily, the game was kind enough to give us six EXP shares. So let's go ahead and give one to him, and we're going to start start training him back up right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to avoid this family. We appear to be able to avoid the family, which is good for me. Desert Resort ahead. It's nicer than the average desert. I wonder what else we could have caught here. I'm just curious to see. I know you're not supposed to do this. Okay, actually pretty happy that we didn't get a Minchino because God knows the last thing we need is another normal type. You tail slap. That's okay. You tail slap. Let's let's not though. Let's not tail slap. Let's not hit five times because for fun, I guess, and take away half of Underbite's health that now is going to cause me to have to go in and use a potion, which we don't even have that many of because I use... No, we have nine hyper potions. We got super potions still. We got three. We'll heal Underbite back up. Should probably just put... Oops. Should probably just put come back out front. Come back. <laughs> should probably just put come back out front just to... Just so we don't have to worry as much. Comeback is pretty solid. Okay, we're going to see what else is in the grass. That would have been... Um, that would have been pretty cool. I would have been okay with a Larvesta. I wouldn't have minded a Larvesta. Again, though, it doesn't... I, I need to... You got to take the good and the bad. I should be excited about the fact that we got a pan for because it does save us against rock types we now can get past rock types this resort is especially known for the relic castle see i think we can get an encounter in relic castle too which i hope um i would like to go find and see if that's a thing that's a possibility oh my gosh we're gonna have so many okay fight the doctor because the doctor can heal you up i'm a trainer first and a doctor second well good to know we just want you to heal our pokemon I was very close there just now. Uh, only one Pokemon. It's going to be a Chansey. Level 30. This should be fun. Uh, let's see what this Chansey's ready to do. I mean, we know what Chansey's do. Uh, so we're going to Hone Claws a thousand different times. And you know I'd Hone Claws a thousand. Don't do that. Don't do that, Chansey. Don't do that, Chansey. We will Slash. Yes, okay, we get the slash off. It should do... That did pretty good. What was I worried about? All you gotta do is trust in, trust in your comeback and, and you will be rewarded. And we did get like a lot of experience for Lucky or Leaky there. Sorry, not Lucky. Wrong Nuzlocke. This guy's gonna go ahead and heal our Pokemon now, which is very good. Thank you very much. Now make your Pokemon healthy. Thank you, man. Thank you. You appreciate that. Desert Resort's a harsh, harsh place. Harsh place. Perhaps you have medicines. Perhaps you have medicine. Wait, is this a different area technically? Is this desert resort technically different than earlier desert resort? I think it's all the same. I think it's still just called desert resort. Desert resort. Yeah, we're going to call this the same area. We're going to say we don't get another new encounter in here. Though, I really like another encounter in here. So if you could make it happen. Let's see if we can find this... Um, we get the protector, so Rhyhorn, please, please show yourself, Rhyhorn. We will explore this place. I will probably defeat all these trainers. A damp rock, okay. Uh, we'll probably defeat all these trainers in a grinding montage of some sort. Um, but I won't. Dwayne's final form. It's Dwayne. He's back from the dead tonight. No, we're going to run, though. Um, there's golems here. That's okay. There's also Darmanitan statues, which I don't know how to activate. I don't remember if it's post-game or if there's something you have to do. But technically, since I randomized static encounters, this these are five encounters right here. And if we can make it work, I absolutely will. So that's something I'll have to research. Can we go into the, the Relic Castle and is it a different area? It is a different area, which means we are going to slowly rebuild the team. If there's wild Pokemon in here, there's wild Pokemon. Eyes closed, please. Our open so in the sunshine. It's like a freaking ghost. It's a Yamas. That's actually what spawns in here usually. That's so weird. Um, And by weird, I mean I love it. 
I also mean we can't attack this Kai because we will kill him. So we have to just throw some quick balls. It's better at the start of a wild encounter. This is the start of a wild encounter. Yamask, super creepy Pokemon. Uh, like the lore behind it, really freaking creepy. Not a huge fan, but, but the quick ball does get it done and we are gonna catch a Yamask. It's not a Yanma or a Yanmega, but it is another Y Pokemon, so I can I can be happy with that. Yamask is the spirit Pokemon. It's a ghost type. These Pokemon arose from the spirits of people interred in graves of past ages. Each retains memories of its former life. Freaking creepy. It's a ghost type. We're gonna have to name Yamask. We're gonna have to name Yamask, and I think because eventually, well, he's probably not gonna survive till then. But theoretically, we could eventually get, uh, I don't know how to spell Tut in common. We're just going to call our Yamask Tut because eventually Tut is going to become a cough again. Cough, cough, grigus, a cough, sarcophagus, cough. That's what he is. We have a Yamask. That's, that's all I care about. Okay, now let us check out Tut as well. What is Tut Rock? And he also has an item. What are you holding? You got the lagging tail. Okay. He has lower attack but higher speed, and he has uh, Mummy contact with this Pokemon spreads his ability. Which I don't know what that means, but he has Hex, will -O -S, Pain Split, Ominous Wind. Not great right now. Now that we have two new, oh don't fall. Now that we have two new Pokemon on the team, we should go through our TMs again and see if we got, anybody wanna learn like a Searing Shot? Someone wants to learn Searing Shot. Tut wants to learn Searing Shot. Yeah, we're gonna teach, Teach Tut. Maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait. It might be smarter to wait. Do we have any stab moves? I might teach a stab move. Oh, but discharge would help so much. We need type coverage right now. Type coverage is the name of the game. Nobody can learn a discharge, unfortunately. Um, what about um, what about what about love? What about today? Um, we could teach someone cut. It's a grass move. <laughs> actually, maybe. <laughs> grass coverage over the freaking... That actually could have saved us. Nope, nobody can learn. Well, I mean, none of our original can learn, so it wouldn't have helped us in the fight against the thing. Does one of these guys want to learn cut, though? Leaky does have boosted attack. I guess I'll give him cut, just because we might need the TM for cut again, and it's, it's probably better than Tickle. So let's go ahead and get rid of Tickle. And uh, I will think about, I will think about teaching Searing Shot to, uh, to Yan Mask. Now we could explore more around here. I just wanna see what else is in here. I always like to get a little idea of what else we could have caught in a route instead of what we did. A Woo Bat, again, we don't want the flying type, so it's fine that we did not receive one of those. We might as well, we might as well destroy it though. If we, if we can't have it, nobody can, you know what I'm saying? Um, I apologize if it's like, I just like, I've just been like thinking while I've been sitting here and I'm like, I probably don't sound as into Pokemon Vol White as I usually am. And honestly, after recording the last one, it just, obviously it's a different day. I had to take some, a, a day off to, we have Mummy. You spread Mummy to me. Does it just... So long, farewell till we meet again, sucker. Um... But my freaking eyeball hurts. To me, it's just like, um, that was a great pain split, by the way. Good job. Um, it was just so debilitating having all of that happen. And so I needed a little time to recharge. Now I'm back. Oh, and something's in my eyeball and does not feel good. No, no more golems, please. Don't even show me the golem. You show me the gold duck. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we wanted a pan pour instead. Uh, I really wish, I don't know why the Pokemon here are so much, I don't even know if you'd say better, but yeah, better than the freaking Pan Sage and the Minchino. Yeah, the Larvesta was pretty cool, but, um, and everything else didn't seem that, I guess the Minchino and the, the double heal, the double heal. You gotta make sure you get the double heal in there if you want your Pokemon to really like you. I'm mostly just searching around for items at this point. I don't think there's anything else we can do in this area. Elect, elect. <coughs> We're fine. Couldn't get away. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Why can't we get away? We're only like a million levels higher. 
uh, underbite. I need you to take this hit just in case he uses some sort of thunder punch or something. He's just going to set up another light screen, which isn't going to do anything. And you know what? You've just earned yourself a death. Now you're going to swift. Okay, well, he's not going out without doing three damage to us first. But we're going to take him out with a headbutt. Um, let's go ahead and make our way. I gave up on the items, basically. If we, um... This guy want to fight? He doesn't want to fight. What do you want? I came out to clear... I came clear out to the Desert Resort to train, but there are so many ground-type Pokemon, I'm already in tatters. Yeah, not interested in fighting those right now. Not until we get pan poor to a little bit of a higher level. Then we'll come back... <laughs> uh, right now we're gonna go to... Don't remember... Don't remember the name of the next city. Um... A Piplop! You could have given me Piplop as my water type, and you gave me Pansage instead. Pampor, whatever your name is. I guess we could go back to the city we were just in and get a water stone and turn him into a semi-poor. But does that really seem like... You saw me. Does that really seem like the right course of action, though? A battle is like a construction project. They're both a piece of cake for me. Please have fighting types. Fighting types and no rock types. We're looking for fighting types. Yep. That's a rock type. You may have misheard me, but I just mentioned how I don't really feel like fighting them right now. I don't really feel like fighting them right now. So instead, oh, Leaky already. Is Leaky going to die already? We'll find out. We'll see if he can take a hit. Leaky, I am trusting you here because you're Scald. Okay, you can take a Fury attack. You don't take it very well, but you should outspeed the Rhyhorn and a Scald should do some pretty choice damage to this thing. Leaky, show me why I'm happy that you're on the team, even though you're not a Piplup. That's pretty good. Two levels down on a Rhyhorn. I guess it's a special, but still, that's pretty good. And we take uh, we take the Rhyhorn out. What's next? Fighting types. Fighting types. Fighting Sand Slash. That's a ground type, which is still okay. Um, I will use comeback for that because we can actually do damage to a to a fighting uh, to a ground type rather than a rock type. We'll just go in and slash him. I probably should stop using the speed up button so much. Let's just enjoy. Why are we? Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. There you go. Go ahead and take him out. Don't worry about it. Why are we? It's trying to speed up through this game when we know it's just going to destroy our hopes and dreams again. Speaking of game, comeback crew to level 35, that's great. Leaky gain 692 experience, that's 26 things. Okay, cool. What are you learning? Fling! You're gonna learn fling! What does fling do? User flings its held item at the target to attack. The power and effect depend on the item. Sure. Maybe we can make something. It knows crunch too. I didn't even realize it knows crunch. But, um... Question of the day time. Let's go ahead and get to that while we're on our way to... I can't remember the name of the next city. Um, but... So, I'm having a little bit of an issue right now. Uh, I'm trying to record more Dark Souls for you guys. Um, honestly, my capture card is not working. And I'm nervous that it's... Um, look at the freeway. Okay. I'm nervous that it's, like... Not broken completely. Uh, uh, I'm nervous that it's... Um, there's something wrong with it. I gotta try to figure it out. I've tried recording Dark Souls like three times and it keeps disconnecting and reconnecting and then I lose my audio and it sucks. So for the time being, I can't record any... There's no way Sharon would make us fight him again, right? That would be absurd. <laughs> Hello, Brush. Sharon, come here. I'm here. Please don't fight me. Elisa called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon and I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Tada, freebies for you. A free Pokemon. Here's Sharon, you too, Brosh, a free Cherish Balls. Cherish Balls. If you see a Pokemon that you want to have join you, be sure to have a good type of Pokeball. I appreciate the handout, but I thought we were getting a free Pokemon for some reason. Because this could be the first and last time you see that Pokemon. You know, it might seem strange for me to say this, since I'm the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex, but please remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you can neglect the Pokedex, but you know that. Now, excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca and give her this subpar gift as well. Okay, anyway. Sharon, you're gonna say some snide comment? It seems what the professor gave us the Pokedex is the reason it sent us on a journey. At least that's what my mom told me. Well, so your mom said so, then it must be true. They wanted us to go out and see the world, and so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request for Professor Juniper. Well, what should we do now? I think I'd like to go show my the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. 
Okay, that's down. We need to catch some Pokemon we haven't caught yet. Up in some city. Look at the electric bulletin board and see what's happening in Nimbasa City. Nimbasa, that's where we're headed. Oh no, we came from Nimbasa City. Where are we going? Is this a new route? No, this is the city. This is Nimbasa City. We got Team Galactic already. Team Plasma, sorry, wrong game. Gramps, we know you you we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking, we're taking Pokemon from people, and since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. Uh, what kind of nonsense is this? Hey there, you're gonna make me fight them, aren't you? A strong looking trainer, please help me. All right, I'll do my best. If you're gonna get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon too. All right, so we got some battles coming up. I said no speed up, but uh, we have another catch encounter thing to do. Mawile 31, Mawile. Fantastic, I should have taught him Searing Shot. Okay. But there shouldn't be too much Mawile can do to us. So, what do we got here? What is, our, what is our course of action here? I think you just go for it. Let's just go for the slashes and see how much we're doing. Let's see how much a nice slash is going to do. It's not terrible. You're going to faint attack. How much is that going to do? It's not terrible. We can just trade slashes and and those and I'll be I'll be pretty Ice Punch! <clears throat> he knows Ice Punch. Let's go ahead and heal. Come back back up with a Hyper Potion. Because, okay, Faint Attack is fine. I, I was nervous he was going to have Pursuit or something and was going to get us on the way out. Let's go ahead and send in Underbite to finish the job for us. You're going to Faint Attack again. We can take that, no problem. You got me rattled. My speed's going to raise. We should be faster than you now. And Headbutt will maybe take you out with the Silk Scarf. It does. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Underbite. For coming in clutch there. And what's next? Who we fight next? A Sableye. Why wouldn't we fight a Sableye? We'll stay in. I'm fine staying in. Sableye's a little bit obnoxious, but uh, we can get a nice crunch on him. You're going to detect, so we're not getting a nice crunch on him yet, but now we're going to get a nice crunch on him. He's going to detect, and it fails, and so our crunch is going to connect, and my eyeball hurts so bad. That did nothing, but we did get a defense drop, which is good. Um, anyway, question of the day. You're going to detect again. Because I can't record Dark Souls, it seems, for a little bit. Stop it! Triple Detect! You are the worst! Yes, thank you. Okay. Since it seems like we're not going to be able to record Dark Souls for a while, I need something. In the meantime, in the very least... Yeah, weak knockoff. And you rattled me even more. Um... I need something in the meantime that uh, I can I can give for you, give to you guys. So if you guys have any games in mind that you've wanted to see me play for a long time, maybe all of a sudden it's new, you want me to play it. Again, if it's a new game, I probably can't afford it, but I'll try. Um, we beat the Team Plasma Grunt. Then I will certainly do my best to try to acquire it and play it for you guys. But I need suggestions right now because I need something to fill that void of Dark Souls. Hopefully it just works. Oh, thank you so much. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Free Pokemon. It's an HM containing fly. I mean, I'll accept it. Um, I have a daycare on Route 3. Oh, I know where you live. Can I have a free Pokemon from you? Do hey, Brosh, yoo-hoo. Please, no. The professor told me in Abasa City has a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, small court, and the battle subway. I'm going to the Pokemon musical. Thank you for not battling me. Thank you. Thank you so much for not battling me. I'm going to the Pokemon Center and I'm going to heal up. I'm healing up. We do have four Pokemon, so we really shouldn't be too worried. We're basically uh, the strongest we've ever been. We actually are like pretty darn strong. We're going to end today's episode by running around, running this way, running past Tom Brady right there in the football pads. She's just standing outside the gym. We're going to run because look at this trainer tips. Okay, I thought I was going to say that there's a route this way because that's what I'm trying to tell you is that there is a route this way. Hello. Let's train Pokemon vigorously, you who like training and you who don't like training. Let's train our Pokemon Bay, giving them these a Macho Brace. We won't be using it, but thank you. Uh, Camp Risman parked in Lost Lorne Forest on Route 16. I wonder how long it's been there. Interesting. Lost Lorne Forest is also a new encounter. Okay. We would like to avoid battling. I would like to avoid battling. 
you keep spinning. Okay. Should we try our, our, our strategy again? Should we try our strategy? Or should I leave this for next time? Is But I want to do a grinding montage, so no. We will do this this time. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. We're not going to do the shaking grass strategy unless we can get past all this grass. We did get past all this grass. Yes, this tree can be cut. We're going to get something back here. What is this? What is this? What is this? TM16 Hex. That's pretty good. Okay. Shaking grass spot. Shaking grass spot. I have never needed you more than I need you right now. I also really need to get to Lost Lorne Forest, and which we will get to. And I think you can catch wild Pokemon there too. So maybe two more encounters. We could have freaking five. We could have a full team. I hear a great, great king, I, hear, I hear a great king shaft spot. Shaking grass spot. Close your ears. Close your eyes, I mean. Listen carefully. I have no idea. It's a Ledian. It's a Ledian. It's a Ledian. Which is okay. We'll go into Underbite. And we will take on this Ledian. You're going to baton pass to nobody. We will go ahead and lick you. Are you part normal? I don't think so. You're going to silver wind. I'm rattled. You're getting me rattled. We will lick you. Go for the paralysis. We get it. Go for the bite. Shouldn't take him out. Doesn't take him out. He's going to silver wind. That's fine. He should be in catching range now. Let's go ahead and use... Use... A great ball on. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can catch this Ledian. I feel pretty good. Not so much about the team makeup. The team makeup is still not so great, but I at least feel better about the fact that we have multiple Pokemon that we can go into and sacrifice off if we need to, because we might. The Ledian is level 29, which is good. It's gonna be a long grinding montage to get these guys up. Ledian is the five star Pokemon. It uses, the st it uses starlight as energy. When more stars appear at night, the patterns on its back grow larger. We need to nickname Ledian because it's the five star Pokemon. Let's go ahead and call our Ledian the five star general, I think. Is it, is it, is it, is it, it's a, not a bad nickname for Ledian with all his shenanigans. Okay, we have Ledian named general. All right, General, what do you know other than Baton Pass? I already forgot from the battle. You are brave nature, bug flying type. You're holding a water stone, which means we can evolve uh, Pan Poor, funny enough, which I guess we'll do. Um, and you have early bird. You awaken quickly from sweet sweep. Sleep! You have a fighting type move, which is clutch. You know, Drain Punch, Dizzy Punch, Baton Pass, and Silver Wind. Man, I wish you had Iron Fist with all those punching moves. Um, we will go ahead and take the Water Stone from General. I think I'll probably evolve him at the end of this episode. To finish things off, let's go ahead and go into this lovely little forest here, which is known as the Lost Lorn Forest. And this is going to be our final, our final encounter of the episode so we're gonna going to uh have a full team if we can manage to catch whatever we find in here i'm looking for the shaking grass spot ledian's pretty good if we can find already evolved pokemon um that is a, that is a plus for me so i don't hear it yet still look i hear it it's right at the front it is right at the front final encounter we need something so clutch be something so clutch so clutch it's like a, it's like a Breloom. It is a Breloom. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. That was a complete shot in the dark. It sounded like Shroomish, but I was like, Shroomish is too crappy to be in a shaking grass spot. So it must be a Breloom. And we got it. Holy cow. That was cool. That was a nice little thing that just happened. Um, let's celebrate that little thing that just happened by catching this Breloom. Let's go ahead and go out and on into Underbite. He is our Paralyzer. He is our Finger 11. You are Mega Draining. You're going to know a fighting move, and it's going to hurt really bad, and I'm nervous. But we're going to lick first and hopefully get the Paralysis off. Get the Paralysis off right off the bat. We don't. That's a critical hit, too. Ooh! We are going to catch this Breloom, and we're not going to lose anything in the process. I should have put a little stipulation there. There's, there's two rules to catching this Breloom. 
that we catch him and that we, hey, you're gonna freaking keep mega draining and you're gonna be very obnoxious because that first one was a critical hit. Once we get the paralysis though, Mach Punch. Breloom is a fantastic Pokemon, by the way, and I am more than happy to have him on the squad. I just need to get the paralysis off. How much did the first counter do? Enough that I'm scared. Um, I just need to get the paralysis off and I can go back into Braviary. Um, well, even then, I don't, there's nothing we can do that's not going to take him out, I don't think. Maybe. He might survive one. Keep licking. Keep licking. You know Headbutt. We know your full arsenal going into this. We know your full Real Madrid. We get that paralysis. Let's just throw a ball. Let's just throw a ball and see if we can catch him. I believe we can. He's paralyzed. He's only like a little bit above halfway, but I bet we can make it work. I bet we can catch this thing. Dude, this would actually be a pretty legit team. Yes, okay. Okay. A Braviary, a Granbull, a Ledian, a Panpore. Eventually gonna be a Simipore once we evolve him right now. Freaking Yan Ma Yan Mask, which is eventually going to be a Cofagrigus, and a Breloom on the team. We have type coverage now. Breloom is the mushroom Pokemon. Its short arm stretch when it throws punches. Its technique is equal to that of pro boxers. <laughs> anyway, uh, before I died just now, um, pro boxers. You have a pro boxer. You know what? Uh, in honor, then this was a couple months ago. But we still will go ahead and honor the man, the myth, the legend. We're going to go ahead and name our Breloom Ali because it should be pretty obvious. We're going to go ahead and end this one here. I'm going to be lazy and not even update him on the layout. I guess I will at least show you guys while I'm talking here. We will go ahead and Waterstone our Leaky up to a Simipore. So you guys can watch this happen before your eyes. I'll have some changes to make before next time. We will have a, uh, a Simipore, and we will also have to add a Breloom to the team. My spirits have been lifted after this episode. After last episode, like I said, I was crushed. I thought the Nuzlocke was done. The Nuzlocke is here to stay. Except I just realized we somehow have to get past the Electric Gym Leader and her Emolga. We don't really have anything for that, but well, that's a problem for another day, I suppose. One we could have kept Wayne, but I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and the Pokemon Catching Jamboree, then make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Bounce! Um, and let's see what else is in this grass real quick. You're going to have a grinding montage, obviously, when we come back next time. Hippopotas would have been pretty dope, but we don't get it. I will see you guys next time.